Hey everybody, it's Anna. Time for the Wednesday card in this week's tarot story. So today we have the Two of Wands. So wands are connected to the element of fire and they're about feeling impassioned and inspired and invigorated. And the number two, I connect to an experience of germination or rooting in. So it's not an action step, or maybe we should say it's not an outward action step. So we're not actually taking steps in the physical world. It's actually an underground step where we're being still in the physical world, but something is happening under the surface. So the image shows a guy sitting at his home. So he hasn't left his home yet, but he's got a globe in one hand and he's looking out over the horizon like he's imagining where he's going to go right so his passion is rooting in he's giving himself a chance to feel excited to gain momentum to get more and more kind of invigorated about the idea of moving and really feel the experience of that calling before he moves and that is that rooting in so I think this card is interesting in following yesterday's card, which was temperance. So temperance is, as I said yesterday, the balance between the physical, the physical, our physical and divine selves, which is knowing how to both stay connected to new inspiration, new joy, new passion, um, but also knowing how to like take action in the world, in the physical world, to nurture it and support it. And how we have to have both sides. I even talked about how people like to differentiate between being spiritual or being religious as though you can be one or the other. Well, you can be one or the other, right? But you have to bring them together in order to be able to be fresh in your manifestations, but also effective in your manifestations. You have to have um, spirit and structure, right? So this card suggests to me that we are right now in an integration process. So it's always easy. It's always challenging for the mind to want to take action steps all the time because that's what it recognizes, that's what it sees as making things happen. So that would be the structure piece, right? But the two card is not about building structure, it's about evoking the, evoking the inspiration and making space for it, creating hospitality in yourself for this. This is more of a divine um, receptive energy rather than an active physical energy. So I love the tarot because it does sort of remind us of the things that are often invisible to our minds. We have to teach our minds that this is what's happening so it doesn't mistake a quiet energy for like wasting time or being blocked or something wrong with us. It goes, oh, something's underground right now. Something really important and special is happening underground. And yeah, sometimes that's a little boring when you're a mind that wants to do things in the physical world. But if you will learn how to be patient, how to wait, how to have faith in that movement, then we get the groundwork for a really cool, interesting, sustainable manifestation. The mind now gets to be part of something that it couldn't even imagine and gets to be part of of an adventure that it wouldn't create on its own. So we really want to kind of encourage the mind to see this as a great opportunity. And yes, part of the opportunity is learning how to be quiet, learning how to be patient, uh, you know, not moving before the time is right. But if the mind can learn how to do that, if you can learn how to be still and stable and trust what's happening in the spiritual realm, then it gets to partner with something pretty cool. So consider where your passion is talking to you right now. Don't move because you're getting restless. See if you can hold that that restless energy that would sometimes go into movement. If you can hold it within yourself, you let it build. You get more and more momentum, which is what we really want. And when it's time for the momentum to be released, when the potential energy becomes kinetic energy, then there's something really special happening. That's our card for today. See you tomorrow for our next one.